picking it out. Alan Jackson, don't rock the jukebox. I yeah. Mean, what a yeah. monster that that was. Man. You know? Yeah, man. I'll tell you, he, we were, of course, he was singing demos at the time. He didn't have a label. It was he and Keith and I were together to write and hope, that, you know, that some things we would do that might be something he could record one day. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, he, he mentioned that title to us and Keith and I probably looked at each other at the same time. We knew something was there, you know? And, uh, I tell you when we got the Rolling Stones and George Jones in the same song, I go. knew we had something. <laughs> yeah. And I'm telling you, I, I tell you it's what, Andrew, we basically had to stay out of the way of that song. That's how easily it was to write. Mm. And I'll tell you the honest truth. When it first came out, even after it became a hit initially, I thought it, I just thought it was a ditty. Okay. And then I heard months and months later, how many young people it ushered into country music. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe we had more there than we thought, you know? Yeah. But it, but it was a, a major, major hit for him. And uh, obviously for us. And they, uh, they've been repackaging it forever and ever and ever. And there's no telling how many millions uh, records we've sold on this one song. 